This is a Savage B-22 Precision. I just bought it. Hasn't been shot yet. Not even one shot. I'm going to sight it in today, break it in a little bit. It's got a, uh, a Vortex Diamondback Tactical 6x24 scope on it. And that's about it. Uh, there'll be a little bit more to talk about a little bit later. Uh, I'm sighting in at 25 yards. There's my target. Uh, it's out there somewhere. There we go. That's it. So I'll shoot at the top one first and then at the bottom one. I'm going to shoot three or four different uh, rounds or types of rounds through it. We'll see what is the best. Okay, let's sight her in. I've got, I put about 20 rounds through it into the berm and we're going to sight it in now. Well, hell, that's not too bad. The other one on there was one that I just shot the last shot when I was shooting into the berm. That's not too bad. Right out of the box. I hadn't done anything to it at all. By the way, I'm shooting a Gila rifle match. Yeah, it's a little bit low. There we go. That's about as close as I'm going to get. Yeah. I just turned the camera back on. I wanted to talk a little bit about this rifle and some of the things that I've read online in my shooting groups and on the uh, on YouTube. Uh, I heard a lot. Of, you know, I saw a lot of stuff in there about the magazines are hard to reload. I don't think so at all. They're easy. It's just you know, push it to the side and push down, and in it goes. I have no problem at all with it. And as far as the uh, magazine not seating properly and loading, so far I've put what now? Probably 30, 40 rounds through it. And I haven't had any trouble with it uh, cycling, loading, no FTFs, no FTEs, uh, nothing. So the only, the only thing that I found out is because I collect my brass, is that uh, it shoots them forward, way forward, so I have to take my brass catcher and uh, kind of really shove it forward. Other than that, uh, so far, I like the rifle. It's uh, very sturdy. I mean, it's not. there's no flex at all because of the MDT uh, uh, chassis on it. Uh, I gotta say, I don't like this bluish-green color so much. That's gonna get changed uh, this coming week. Uh, either red or blue, maybe orange, but one of those three colors, uh, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, I'm going to shoot a little bit of uh, a little bit of blazer, and it's a little bit of afternoon now. It's about two o'clock. It's the wind is calm. There's no no wind at all, and it's probably oh, 67, 68 degrees. So it's good shooting weather. Anyway, let's try some blazer. We're going to start at the upper left and work across to the first target. Whoa, that's a flyer. one. Okay, I'm going to put it on pause here and then we'll go again. Oh, that's not bad. That's a little better. Bottom left.
That does it for the blazer. Okay, I got a little bit of mini mag here. It's not a full box or anything, it's just some loose ones. I'll shoot 10 of those and see what it looks like. Of course, I should clean the barrel and do all that, but I'm just going to just, just for chuckles and see what happens. somebody out on the range. You know, actually, I'm sitting here just kill some time here. I'm, I'm liking this MDT, this uh, B B22, whatever they call it, precision. So far, it's, uh, you know, I haven't had the problems with with anything so far that uh, people have complained about. Uh, the magazine, yeah, is a little bit different as far as loading it goes, and I think what it is is a lot of people are used to the 1022s. And uh, yeah, they load a lot easier than this. Of course, it's a new magazine too, so you know that may have something to do with it. But no, I don't have any problem loading it. I mean, you know, the last two or three are a little bit stiff. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can get the top of the bowl out. A little bit too high. Yeah. That's it. Okay, that'll do it for this. That was fun. Okay, let's uh, let's try some of this uh, Spitfire, this old Federal Spitfire that I got from this guy, and let's see how it works. <laughs> I'm not I'm not too. Uh, I'm not too confident of this. It seems like, you know, the older you get, <laughs> the more you appreciate the things you can do, you can still do when you were young. And although I'm not anywhere near as I used to be, it's still something that I can do and, and do reasonably well. You know, sitting here shooting at 50 yards, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun, you know. And I meet friends and make make new friends and help people out and you know things like that. Today I had a guy that had his uh, right, rifle wasn't leveled to the scope and it was a, it was a mess. Anyway, let's try this uh, let's try this Spitfire. See how it does. The one thing I've noticed with this uh, MDT is that you. In order to get the uh, magazine to seat well, you've got to open the you've got to open the uh, the bolt, and then it slides right in, no problem. I wonder if that's part of the problem people are having. Anyway, okay, what we're going to do, we're going to go to the to the orange, the, the middle target, the middle the middle uh, five, and I'm going to go to the middle target of the middle five. So far, so good. Shit, this does pretty good. <laughs> so far. Yeah, that one was low. Well, you know, that, that, that one that's out, that was me. I was just in a hurry. Okay, let's go to the bottom left. Put one right between the two, which is where I was aiming, so that's not bad. See if I can draw a horizontal line. Ah, a little low. Okay. Oh, that's the Spitfire. <laughs> anyway, that's it. I'm, I'm tired. I didn't get much sleep last night, and I'm starting to get a little crazy. So I'm going to go take this home, edit it all, to get all the pieces all together, and wait until next weekend. Until then, we'll see you later.